Hello student. Okay, now we are in the final um, section under reaction where we will look into combustion reaction. So, why is this combustion important? Why it is, there is one sub-chapter just for combustion? We have to know that combustion process is very important in our life because from combustion process, we can obtain energy. Combustion process releases energy and this energy can be used in your daily life as your electricity, as a modes of heating and also can be used to uh, induce movement. Okay, combustion is actually a reaction. So it is a process of oxidation of carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen or sulfur. So oxidation of this will create combustion. Combustion can come into two forms, whether it can come in the complete combustion or incomplete combustion. In general, if we have a combustion a reaction that produces CO2, H2O or SO2, this is term known as complete combustion. But if you have something like CO2, uh, this is known as incomplete combustion. So we see here, this is fuel react, oxid, uh, react with O2 in, terms of, uh, in the process of oxidation, burning and produces CO2 and water, CS2 plus is, uh, react with O2, produces carbon dioxide and sulfur, di sulfur dioxide. Uh, these two are known as complete combustion. But if the process, if the fuel oxidizes, produces CO, this is known as incomplete uh, process or partial combustion. Under this chapter, we will look into uh, uh, several uh, concepts like wet basis versus dry basis, theoretical and excess oxygen and air, and lastly we will look into the material balance on combustion reactor. We will do, see how we are going to solve unknowns in the combustion reactor problems. Okay, why wet basis and dry basis? What is the importance of wet basis and dry basis composition? Okay, in combustion, um, we produce in combustion we produce gas. So we produce gas. So our product is gas. So this gas can be um, can be uh, can be quantified in terms of wet basis composition and also dry basis composition. So that's more important. Um, sometimes you are given uh, your 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 product in terms of dry basis, then you have to convert it back into wet basis. If you have wet basis, sometimes some 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 things require for dry basis. So you need to know how to convert wet basis product into the dry basis product composition. Okay. Now, uh, first of, uh, before uh, now, let's go to how do we. Do calculation uh, wet basis and dry basis. For the first example, I would like to show you how we do conversion from wet basis to dry basis. Okay, let's say we have a question like this. We have a stack gas. Stack gas is the gas that is being produced from uh, combustion. We call it stack gas. Sometimes we call it flue gas. It's a, a product of a gas from combustion. Okay, this is what we call stack gas. So if you have it in exam, stack gas or flue gas is actually the product of combustion. Okay, a stack gas contains 60 more percent of N2, 50 more percent of CO2, 10 more percent of O2 and balance H2O. So the balance is 15 more percent of H2O. So we see all these are gas components. It's a product of uh, combustion and it all are in terms of gas. Okay. So now the question wants you to calculate molar composition of the gas on dry basis. Right. In order to do conversion from a... Com so what we have here is in terms of wet basis because we still have O2. So these are the composition into, in terms of wet basis because we have O2 in this composition. So now... From this wet basis, we need to convert it into dry basis. So it is in, um, so the conversion is easy when we have wet basis to dry basis. So basically, we have to take a basis because we have a composition, so we have to assume a basis. Let's say from this composition that we have, 
In the question, we assume we have a basis of 100 mole of wet gas. So why do we say a basis of 100 mole of wet gas? Because the composition of this gas is including H2O. So it is wet gas. So we take easy number, we just take 100 mole of wet gas. So, so if we have 100 mole of wet gas, so that means if 60%, we have 60 mole of N2, 50% mole of CO2, uh, ref refer to 15 mole of CO2, uh, 10 mole of 10 mole percent of O2, 10 mole of O2 from 100, and the balance will be 50 mole of H2O. So now we need to convert this into dry basis. So when we want to convert dry basis, we need just to we need to take out water from the total wet gas. So we just need to take, because this is dry gas, right? We just need dry basis, that means dry gas. Dry basis means only dry gas, so we have to remove H2O. So we just take nitrogen, uh, CO2, and uh, O2. So we total up the total number of mole of the dry gas, so we end up, we have 85 mole of dry gas. In terms of wet gas, we have 100 mole, but if we just take, we remove H2O, we only end up 85 mole of dry gas. So in order to find molar composition of, in molar composition in terms of dry basis, um, so we just have to take the number of mole that we have in terms of each element here, divided by the total mole of the dry gas. So these are the molar composition in terms of dry basis. It's easy. Okay, now let's look how we do conversion from dry basis composition to wet basis composition. So this is more challenging than wet basis to dry basis. So because it's basically just removing water so you can get a dry basis. But dry basis to wet basis it's slightly uh, challenging, okay, but it's but it is manageable, okay. So um, let's look into this question. So this question I just took from your textbook. So we just use this simple question to um, to understand how to do the conversion from dry basis to wet basis. Okay, we have an offset analysis. Offset analysis is gas analysis. Um, gas analysis where from offset analysis. Uh, the data given, uh, in the, pro uh, the composition of the gas given is in terms of dry basis. Okay, so as mentioned just now, or set analysis is a measurement to analyze gas uh, from our product line. Okay, so an or set analysis yields the following dry basis composition of a gas. So we have nitrogen 65%, CO2 14%, CO 11%, O2 10% in terms of mole. Mol, molar composition okay so this is molar composition in terms of dry basis of one uh, product gas and it says uh, humidity measurement shows that the mole fraction of hydrogen in the stat gas is 0 0.0700 and it wants us to calculate the stat gas composition on a wet basis okay in order to convert dry basis to wet basis so this type of information if, is uh, useful because it gives us some uh, give us some information for us to use to convert dry basis to wet basis because humidity measurement data here uh, helps us to find the sort of fractional uh, sort of a conversion factor to convert dry basis to wet basis so let's look how actually we use this humidity data to convert uh, uh, the composition as usual if we have a composition so we take a basis we have to assume a basis so this is uh, we assume basis of this gas this composition comes from a uh, basis of 100 mole of dry gas so basically we have in that gas uh, dry gas we have nitrogen 65 mole CO2 14 mole CO 11 mole and O2 10 mole so from the humidity info, we get this information. When it says mole fraction of water in stat gas is 0 0.0700, it means we have 0 0.0700 mole of water in a mole, in one mole of wet gas. 
This is what it meant. We have 0.07 mole water in one mole of wet gas. And this relates to if we have 0.07 mole water in the wet one mole of wet gas, that means we have 0.93 mole dry gas in one mole of wet gas. So how do we get this number? It's just by taking one minus with this number, we get one minus with the mole water. We get the number of mole, uh, sorry, the, the fraction for uh, mole dry gas per mole of wet gas. So this is, this, this two is, uh, this two um, ratio actually relates to each other. So now, since we need to convert dry basis to wet basis, we must find relationship between mole of water and mole dry gas because we need to find, we need this relationship later to convert, to do the conversion. So what we do is, we take this, zero, because we need to find relationship, we need to find relationship, uh, to get a relationship between water and mole dry gas, we take this ratio, 0 0.07 mole water per mole wet gas, we divide it with, zero, with dry, uh, this ratio, 0 0.93 mole dry gas divided by mole wet gas. And then we get this ratio where it relates between water and mole dry gas, where we will use this final ratio to do the conversion.